Well, yes, uh, I think a comparison on a European level is a really useful uh, tool for all the people working in dissonance. Uh, the project has involved uh, municipalities of Stey from Romania, Novogorica from Slovenia, Dimitrograd from Bulgaria, Škoda from Albania, um, Powiat uh, Piotrowski from Poland, and Luzada from Portugal. And putting together these dissonant heritages, all the different experiences, has been enormously uh, successful and interesting, I think. Partly because every city is dif different and it has different dissonances, but there is a sort of sense of an underlying similarity. Uh, and so there's a, there's a terrain for comparison and it's very useful in that way to put sim uh, things which are similar together with things which are also slightly different. The focus, of course, has been on uh, 20th century dissonant heritage, the dissonant heritage of regimes in particular. But um, more and more things like uh, colonial heritage and environmental heritage are coming to the fore. So also, I think it helps uh, the cities um, compare themselves on a European level with other sorts of dissonances. Uh, and Asher in particular is working uh, both with the Council of Europe, because it's the Council of Europe Cultural Route, and with the Urban Agenda Cultural, Cultural Heritage Partnership uh, on Dissonant Heritage. So we have also a wider, um, a wider area in which we can, we can compare the things which we're doing. So I think it's, uh, it's certainly a useful starting point for any discussion of dissonance and any discussion of the way that dissonance can be used uh, also as a sort of uh, lever for development on a local level.